The Republican challenging Fulton County, Georgia District Attorney Fani Willis has reported a spike in donations. Her campaign is about defending justice. Courtney Kramer, an attorney who worked in the uh, Trump White House and for the Trump campaign, reported a four fold increase in donations to her campaign since July. Campaign showed nearly $172,000 in itemized donations to Kramer's campaign between July and October compared to $26,600 last period. These numbers show the strength of our grassroots movement and the importance voters place on the issues at hand. Kramer said in a statement, this election is not just a local contest. It's about defending justice in Fulton County, a reflection of uh, larger national concerns. Kramer continued, we are seeing unprecedented engagement because voters know how crucial this race is for the future of our community and uh, uh, country. Kramer said around 2,000 new donors contributed over this latest reporting period, giving her campaign a strong financial position heading into the final few weeks before Election Day. The attorney is running in the solid blue Fulton County partly as a challenge to Willis's prosecution of Trump's alleged attempts to overturn the 2020 election result in Georgia. Kramer, an elections law attorney, has promised to focus on crime. If elected to the DA's office, but has also been critical of Farney Willis, as a lawyer myself, it's disgusting to see her not follow her rules of professional conduct or take her oath of office seriously, Kramer told Real America's Voice in March. It's a disgrace to the legal community. Kramer argues that she is running to uphold the independence and integrity of the legal system so that it is free from undue political influence or partisan agendas. Uh, Fannie Willis has faced criticism from many Republicans. The Republican-led House Judiciary Committee threatened to hold Willis in contempt of Congress if she did not comply with a subpoena and provide documents relating to her use of federal funds. Fani Willis comfortably won and has reported far higher contributions to her campaign at $572,750 in July. Kramer, who has been an attorney for around four years, is the first Republican on the district attorney ballot in the county for at least 50 years. Former Senator Kelly Loeffler, a prominent Georgia Republican, was Kramer's campaign's last known top contributor. Loeffler, who lost to Democrat Raphael Warnock in a 2021 special election to keep her Senate seat has donated $6,600 to Kramer. The latest filing mostly showed smaller donations from private individuals,